January? Yes, January the 30th. Our coach is too big. It's an eight meter barn and it's a 12 meter coach. So what we have here is the front of the coach. Uh, excuse the tent frame around the outside. When it gets so cold and wet, we've got a great big tarpaulin, 80 foot by 40 foot, that we put over the outside. That's over the top of the white tarpaulin, which is 40 foot by 20 foot. Um, oh, and we're, uh, we're lifted off the ground at the moment. One of the very first things we had added were hydraulic jacks. We've got four 10 ton hydraulic jacks. We can lift ourselves off the ground normally. All those railway sleepers are, well, they're to help us because our barn has got a sloping floor, quite a big sloping floor. Underneath a little bit further, you can see we've got some axle stands. So we're quite safely supported and we're level. Axle stands will take six tons each. We've got four of those, that's 24 tons of support. We've got four 10 ton hydraulic stands or lifts or legs. So that's another 40 tons. So we've got approximately 64 tons of support should we need it. The windscreen. That's about eight foot wide by about six foot tall. The windscreen wipers, they're about a yard long. So that's about 2.3 meters wide and about 1.8 meters tall. And the windscreen wipers are a meter long. It's an old bus. It's got quite a few miles on the clock in kilometers actually, because Volvo are a European manufacturer and Van Hool are a coach body makers. We've had to raise the roof. The tarpaulin here is to cover the gap. We'll show you inside in a minute. Our wheels, well, they're right off the ground at the front. There's the bottom of the wheel. I'm not taking the covers off because it only just stopped raining. Here's the inside of our build barn. As you can see, we took all the skin off. That was a lot of work. It took four of us to lift the whole sheet of steel off. So the original bodywork is this stuff. That was the windowsill height. We need an extra foot, 300 millimeters. So we've added another windowsill, more diagonals, and we put windows in at the front. It's easier to see the other side perhaps. Still a work in progress, of course very much a work in progress. Awful lot of work to do. We reckon about six months. Here you can quite clearly see where we've raised the roof, cut a section of the roof out because we don't want a step, we want a slope. And then we've moved our windows back. So everything's been moved. I don't think there's anything that's the same. The original bodywork below the windowsill, that's the thick bar. Our thin bar is flat steel on top. The original was out of two millimeter thick box steel, mild steel, and that was 50 by 40. What we've put in instead is 50 by 25, but in three millimeter box steel, a little bit tougher. The diagonals are 25 millimeter square. Again, everything we're doing is in three millimeter steel. It's nice and thick. My, um, my beginning welding doesn't blow holes in it very much. The cab, the cab has stayed the same. More on that in a bit. Anyway, so that was its original weight. We think we took about 2,500 kilos out of the bus before we even took the windows out. Originally to seat 53 passengers, we're changing it to suit eight. Ignoring the fact that this is our new door. Um, it's seven foot tall, by the way. It's a bit wide. We wanted a big door. Caravan doors are fine, but we wanted something a little bigger. And while we're talking about bigger, here are our th three fuel tanks. They're about 160 litres each. They've been taken off, cleaned up. We've got the left, and then the right, and then the middle tank. And they sit at the back, right low down. More on that later. The straps underneath, you can see everything is damp. Everything you touch, 
comes away wet. So as soon as we work on anything, we have to paint it. It's the middle of winter after all. Here's some of the stuff that we tore out. Here's our scrap bin. That fills up fairly regularly. Here's one of the hydraulic jacks you can see. And they are just in front of the rear wheels. Anyway, so we cut a hole in the wall, we cut a hole in the floor, and here are our temporary wooden steps. Most motorhomes, of course, don't have a permanent step on the outside, so we're going to have a fold-out step or a slide-out step. Let's have a look around the back. The back is where we're working at the moment. It was really, really rusty. You didn't need any tools to poke a hole in the metalwork. You could simply push your finger through most of the floor steel supports. Somewhat worrying, it actually got through MOTs, but then we're told because the chassis was essentially sound, it wasn't a problem. I'm never gonna sit in the rear seats of a coach again. Anyway, so we're on airbags. We've got eight big airbags. We've got eight monster shock absorbers. We've got brand new shock absorbers all around. That took, uh, that took about three weeks to fit them. We had to crawl inside the bus. I had a friend do that. I'm not very physically mobile. We've got twin rear wheels. Um, we measure the depth of tread. Well, you could measure it in inches, but it, it's actually between 35 and 40 millimeters of tread. Got four brand new tires on the Mac. Here's where the left-hand fuel tank went, the middle one, and the further one. You can just about see Barbara on the far side. Give us a wave, Dale. Down here. Thank you. So this is about as far as we went with the original bodywork. A bit higher up, it went a bit further, but the rust took over. This is the sort of bodywork that we had. It was falling apart. This is the bit that holds the boot lid. Blobby welds. The surprise was it didn't simply fall off on a motorway. The white parts, they're still intact because of course they're fiberglass. The end cap is fiberglass. But even that shows sign of wear and tear. So we kept the fiberglass bit. That's hanging from the roof which leaks a lot. And we're gonna get some flare off of that light. We're working under a thousand watt light. Gives us the feeling of warmth. It's not very warm. It's just about four degrees here at the present. So all this new steel work. Oh, and another door. We're gonna put a garage in the back. Here we've got space for the left-hand fuel tank. We rubbed it down but the dark got to us and we went home that night. Sing up. Cool. <laughs> Quick bow. Hey. Quick bow. <laughs>